Hello and welcomes back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as a Sith Warrior Curse here on board the Fury Interceptor. Where we last left off, we were doing an interlude flashpoint video. We did a flashpoint known as Kadamimu. And we're now about to leave the Imperial Fleet once again on our way to track down more information on the Jedi Master Norman Kars Padawan. We've discovered her name is Jasa Wilson, I believe. And we're heading to Alderaan because that's where she was discovered. And we're still trying to find as much information on her as possible. But, uh, let's get ourselves underway. Between this video and last video, I don't think I've done much. I played a bit more with my uh, crew skills. Diplomacy is now maxed out. Our alignment is ever dropping, slowly but surely. So, let's get ourselves on the way to Alderaan. I think it's back in the core worlds of the galaxy. Yeah, here we are. Alderaan is a mountainous world of lush forests and grasslands, ruled by an assembly of noble houses and an enlightened and advanced citizenry. A founding member of the Republic, Alderaan has been traditionally admired for its wealth, its art, and its thinkers, while the deadly intrigues and politics of the nobility have been downplayed. Recently, those intrigues erupted in the Civil War and Alderaan, now officially withdrawn from the Republic, sees conflict it hasn't known in ages. The Republic is backing House Organa's quest for the crown, whereas the Empire is backing the former House Fool Exiles. Palaces and fields have become pockmarked by cannon fire, and house armies clash on the battlefield. Yeah, this is a very political world. <laughs> we have the various noble families using one another and their influence, and the backing of the two major factions, the Republic and the Empire, to try and become the dominant family, and then create, I suppose, their own agenda and lead the rest of the noble families on Alderaan. I can't recall how long it's been, but there was one ruling family. I'm not sure if it was particularly a royal family compared to a noble family, but House Pantier, I think they're known as, were assassinated. Or their queen was assassinated. Um, and I'm not too sure who did it exactly. I think you can find out some information in regards to that in a couple of the heroic missions but since uh, she passed away and the rest of House Pantia went into hiding the castle which they obviously owned and controlled from has been taken over by House Olgo which is a very aggressively militaristic house who is currently kind of got the major control of Alderaan. We will also know about House Wrist, the quiet house of assassins, and of course we have House Organa, who are being backed publicly by the Republic, and House Fool, who were thrown into disgrace but now are returning with the Empire's influence. And, of course, we're here to look into Imperial interests, and it would benefit us if House Fool grew into power once again. Of course, there are going to be challenges to do that. But we're not really interested, even though it may be something to do while we're there. We are here to look into the Padawan's um, discovery here on this world. So, let's uh, be on our way. This is another world where both Republic and Empire players are here at the same time. So there is a small chance that we'll encounter players from the other faction. And be as they're working for House Organa and working within their own interests. Prentice, I see you've touched down on Alderaan. 
Jason Wilson's home planet where Norman Carr found her. Excellent. You will discover everything you can about this Padawan and destroy everyone she loves there. What are we trying to achieve? It is the same mandate as Tatooine. Assault Jaisa from afar. Stir her emotions and flush her to the surface. Unfortunately, with the civil war for the Alderanian throne raging, your contact, Duke Kendo of House Thule, has become unreliable. Kendo was supposed to find Jaisa Wilson's family for you, but it seems he's distracted. You must undistract him. Why don't I just kill him? No doubt someday the man's usefulness will be exhausted. But today is not that day. Kendo is a political creature. The consequences of failing me are abstract for him. Once they are made concrete, he'll cooperate. You'll find him in the House Thule Executive Chambers. Make haste. I see. Duke Kendo. A wily and self-serving noble of House Fool, Duke Kendo has never seen a situation that he could not transform into an opportunity. Born and raised during Fool's exile in Imperial space, Kendo is no means an unchristening Imperial supporter, as much as he enjoys the luxuries Imperial credits will buy. And despite being well aware of his debt his house owns to the, owes to the Empire, he also understands that the life of an Alderinian noble can depend on his ability to outthink and outmaneuver his rivals, and that an ally can also be a political liability. At the same time, Duke Kendo makes no claims to valor and knows how to be discreet. For this reason, the rest of Houseful indulges and supports him. I don't think Duke Kendo may be... I don't think he's the ruling Duke of the house. I'm not sure if there is one. I'm not sure how the hierarchy works in the noble families of Alderaan because there are various Dukes of each noble family and I'm not sure which one, like, who is above the other. But we'll see if we can uncomplicate things for him. Why hasn't he discovered information on Jason Wilson? Why is he dragging his heels? Either way, whatever the, whatever the case may be, his excuse probably won't be good enough. I'm trying to decide if we should take a vet here on Alderaan. It might not be the ideal time, but we have removed her shock collar. And we could see if she's um, learned anything from her time under us. Hmm, maybe. Either way, Alderaan is quite a quite a large world if you wish to spend time doing a lot of the side missions as well. Of course you don't need to do them, but it's got um they spent some time What's designing it. it. Waiting for everything to load in. Uh Vet come along with us. To stretch the old legs. I'm sure. Uh, let's see what you've learned. I had a quick check and her 
likes and dislikes haven't changed due to being a bit unhappy at us for shocking her for so long. But we'll see. Both the Empire and Republic have their own dedicated spaceports here on Alderaan. And here's the beginning of the Alderaan story arc missions. Whenever it decides to load. There you go. That's better. Greetings, my lord. I bring the good wishes of Moff Sarek, the officer entrusted with annexing this planet. He has been anticipating your arrival. Bring me up to speed. I would not presume to answer that. The Moff can explain to you himself. A good day, my lord. It will well serve the aims of the Empire to have so accomplished a Sith on this planet. I expect to care little for the niceties of politics here, so I will be brief. The Empire intends to use Alderaan's succession struggle to bring it into the fold, and I'm offering you the opportunity to play a pivotal role. What's the situation here? The heir to Alderaan's throne was recently assassinated, right after withdrawing from the protection of the Republic. The planet's in civil war, and for the first time in thousands of years, without the armies of the Republic to bring order. A divided world will fall quickly. Yes. We must make our move now, while the throne stands empty. We have an alliance with one of the noble houses, House Thul. The house was exiled 60 years ago after a failed bid for power, and came to us instead. Unfortunately, they have proven too weak to do what's needed. Do they need the fear of the Emperor put into them? Yes. Jorad, one of the Thal Lords, insists on following Alderaan's rules of civilized warfare. I want you to show him warfare is far from civil. Several of Thal's vassal houses have rebelled since Thal's connection to us became public. This cannot be allowed. Take a slave collar from my man here and drag one of these rebels to our weak-willed Lord Thal. Kill the rest and leave them where they fall. They will learn that the best way to survive is to submit. These lords of Alderaan must lose their foolish pride. Those who will not bow must break. I'll be taking a shock collar. I already have one in my possession that I've just recently removed from Vet. She probably doesn't look pleased that I've got that in my possession. Uh, once again, we'll probably have a heroic mission terminal nearby. Uh, there it is. So, yeah. Here we are in, I'm guessing, Kamos or Kamos territory. This is where House Falls power originates. But both, and obviously we start here going into the Jury, the Duran Mountains. Whereas the Republic starts in the Palace Coast, heading into the Lowlands, entering into the mountains as well. And both factions will end up in the Glarus Valley at the end of their time here in Alderaan. Is everything unlocked here? It is... Good, okay. Let's head over to the Palace of Houseful. Where is Duke? Ah, Dukendo is here as well. Good. Should we go speak to him first? That is our priority here. But as long as the Republic and House Organa maybe don't know of our purpose here, 
it also, um, it could wait. Quick travel node. Yeah, there's one in a cantina, there's one at the very entrance of House Full. And there's one actually at the palace. Which is very handy. A lot of quick travel nodes here. But I'm not going to complain. Anyhow, I am. Just take a moment to... Take in the actual detail. And that's a, uh... Alderaan is a very nice world. Obviously, some of it you'll never be able to reach, so it's more just detail. It's not, like, passable territory. But, nice to take in nonetheless. There is a side mission available to us, Rylan there. Let's go find one of these um, rebelling nobles. Even though they're rebelling, they're still enjoying their comfortable life here. In the bars and cantinas of House Full, which is, as they're going to discover, a mistake. Greetings. I'll just be putting this on you, don't mind me. Collard Noble, come with me. A piece of prime real estate. The Thules built until they ran out of room, huh? We have battle music still going on, despite the battle already being over. Ah, there we go. Switched out. Where is my noble? There he is. Come along now. So we need to improve or actually create a spine for Lord... Jorad full here. What is who? Uh, Crimar, is that Crimar Noven? That's a free nobleman of Alderaan. Unhand him. Who are you? W what, what's this about? <gasps> oh. If you are to join the Empire, you should take more care to recognize those in power. Uh, my, my lord. All of Alderaan will be thrown into chains because of you. If you cannot rule your own vassals, how will you rule a planet? You heard that. Be silent if you wish any mercy. I, I've said before that being too harsh might stir greater rebellion. Though, of course, that's, that's up to you. I believe that is up to me. Uh, sir. This spineless toad will make a poor lord of Alderaan. Yes. It will take work to shape him. I hope you will undertake this for me. I would like to make you the voice of the Empire in House Thor. Aid Jorad and his men in crushing resistance to our rule. Obey him as if it were me, and with the same penalty for defiance. Tell him what you need, and he will ensure Thul's hold on Alderaan. Yes, sir. Sir. What do we move on to now? I suppose the Moff expects us to take on House Organa. They're one of our oldest noble houses, and loyal to the Republic. Until recently, they've been without an army, but they've got supporters all over the planet. Uh, including here. You'll never find them. They've got top-of-the-line cloaking, better than anything the Empire makes. No probes will get through, no spy sats, nothing. You are an imbecile. 
House Organa denied raising an army, claiming it's just patriots defending their lands. But their attacks are too organized. We'll never find every group. We need to get inside their planet-wide communications, and that means finding a base with a physical link to slice into. Just tell me where to go. The Organa guerrillas have a base hidden in some cave or other natural camouflage. There should be a master comlink there, guarded by their best soldiers. If you insert this computer spike, it'll give us a back door into all their communications. Once we can hear them, there's nowhere on this world they'll be safe. House Organa will not make another move without us knowing. So we've been given permission or the power to be the voice of the Empire here. I like that. I like having authority. Curse always likes having authority over others. So, we need to find this House Organa Gorilla base. <sighs> Do we want to pick up any side missions while we're here? There are a couple. Trying to decide. We're going to have to speak to Ryan there. We might see if there's someone down next to another transport service droid just down here. There is an indigenous um, sentient species here on Alderaan. I'm hoping we can learn more about them. Hmm. I wonder if Ryan's the NPC who used to be standing here. It has been a while. Ah, either way. You can always come back and try again later. Let's go deal with this gorilla base. We'll speak to Ju Kendo once we've got a spine sharply pushed into Jurad Full there. I should have maybe checked the side missions because there is a ridge of House Organa and there's a side mission up there. But we could always come back and do that later. This is the base of operations. There was a little bit of a delay between actually clicking the uh, button and the animation actually going off. So we need to spike the communications relay, which is deeper inside the cave. We have a flag to House Organa.
Really help. <laughs> Trying to use a couple of skills, but line of sight or distance wasn't um, helping me. Anyhow, so here's the communications relay. Pop our spike in, see what happens. Impressive work. You can see we now have access to the Organa systems. They're all talking about the, uh, the ruthlessness and brutality of the recent attack. They, uh, they do train you Imperials well, don't they? Wars are not won by talking. Oh, you're right. We're going to be trying for the throne. <laughs> That's worth a little brutality. Now that we can monitor the Organa's communications, it should be possible to... Lord Thule, the base is under attack. Send aid quickly. Border outpost 2 under attack. I repeat, under attack. Perimeter defense is breached. We're under attack by assault droids. Repeat, a coordinated attack by probe and assault droids. Blood of the Queen. There's an attack on one of your bases. One we can handle. The data feeds are showing all three of our border outposts are under attack. A coordinated assault, hunter killers and probe droids. All I've got out there is a skeleton crew. You're the only one close enough to reach them in time. Please. Save my bases, and bring me the memory cores from any probes you destroy. I want to know who's behind this. Good luck. I'll bring you the heads of those droids, and their master. Thank you. Now hurry! So we need to... Defend... Three of Housefall's border outposts, which is fairly easy. Hmm. You get over here. why I have fond memories of running through this cave back in the day, playing as my operative and just using my cloak just to bypass most if not all of these little fights here. So many games I still want to play on my ever-growing list of games to LP and record for the channel, but then I kind of think, oh, I'd love to replay an operative or like a Sith Assassin. And it's really just for the cloak ability. Plus, I haven't played an Assassin yet, even though it's the same storyline as the Sith Inquisitor. Well, it is a Sith Inquisitor, really. But rather than the Sorcerer. It's the uh, dual bladed lightsaber wielders. So 
somewhere down here we should be able to pop down without breaking our legs. There we are. Oh, hi. Bloody hell, vet. Save some for me. So we need to kill two more probe droids to gain their memory cores, at the very least. Wait a moment. So this was one of the bases. There's the second base, but where's the... The third base is like here, I think, but we don't need to defend it anymore. Weird. Actually, did I not... I think I may have noticed that when I was playing as my Sif Sorcerer as well. Hmm. Oh, well. There's all the memory cores. So we just need to defend the second base. And I guess, law wise, we could just say House Fool has gathered its forces to defend one of the bases while we deal with the other two. So yeah, let's uh, quick travel back over to House Fool's Palace. And that's the forward border outposts protected. I cannot thank you enough for your quick work. I don't know what the Organas were after, but that attack was long in the planning. It was a costly defeat for them. Oh, they have deep pockets, but it won't be quick to rebuild such a force. Who's the source of these? What were they looking for? And quickly! The programming signatures point to Lord Cedric Kilesa. Lord Kilesa is my vassal. He swore loyalty to me personally when we returned from exile. Your vassals have too much freedom. Slavery works better. The parameters indicate the probes were to join an assault team in a... My lord, this program indicates an assault team massing in a tunnel between here and the Kalisa estate. I don't find any such tunnel on the blueprint. The siege tunnel? Blood of a queen! 
They're, they're coming through the siege tunnel. Those attacks were meant to draw your guards away from the palace. The wretched traitor. That tunnel connects his lands directly to our estates. No one's used it in centuries, but the, the, the tunnel opens right under this room. What are we going to do? I can't wait to start killing. I would not have guessed your bloodlust would come in so handy. Moff Sarek gave us cartons of thermite explosives. They take time to set up, but they, they pack a punch. If you take them into the siege tunnel, you could collapse it on Cedric and his army. Seal the access, so they can't threaten us again. Sounds like a plan. I don't know what I'd do without you here. There's an entrance to the tunnel nearby. The storeroom is in the same area. I'll recall my troops to defend the surface, but there's no doubt the real battle will be below. Thank you. <sighs> yep. Let's go get these explosives then. And yeah, we might as well siege. Siege? Might as well seal the siege tunnel before we break this video. Albertiganes, thank you very much. And to the basement we go. Kalisa engineers are already here, directly underneath the main, I guess, throne room. Let's plant these explosives here, don't mind me. And one more set the plant. And the tunnel a droid. Oh, we've got to plant these explosives. Chance. Let's talk. Uh, that? Uh, just go passive go, for me. Then. Indeed. He is Lord Cedric Kalissa. Himself. So, you're the Imperial puppet who taught Jorad Thul to bite instead of bark. Does he lick your hand? Fetch your slippers? Real Alderanians will never bow to the likes of you. 
no one world can stand up to the might of the Empire. I would sooner see Alderaan blasted into space debris than given over to the Empire. Oh, you don't even have the guts to fight this yourself instead of hiding behind a cart and a thermite. If you had a shred of decency, you'd settle this by an honorable duel. You against me. Really? You think you're... Fine. Let's see how this happens. You against me. You surprise me, Sith. I heard your kind wouldn't know of honor if they scraped it off their shoe. A duel of skill, then. If you win, I will give my house over to Jorah Thule to use as he will. If I win, you stand aside and let me cleanse Alderaan of this scourge. And tell your Imperial handlers Alderaan lives free or dies! To arms! It's a duel and then you're bringing your troopers into this. I concede. You have the better skill. Perhaps it is Alderaan's fate to fall to the Empire. I will tell my people. We must find a way to live through these times. No one challenges me and lives. Then kill me. At least I will not live to see Alderaan fall. And back out of the basement. And we're ever so close. Less than 3,000 experience away from actually getting level 60. Pretty much if we had fought one more group of Kalisa soldiers, we probably would have leveled up just in the basement there. Kalesas just surrendered. My men are returning from the outpost to take them into custody. The Kalesas are acknowledging you as a man of honor. I will tell Moff Selleck of your heroism immediately. Take ten heads for every one traitor, and they will not rebel again. The Thals need not fear any further rebellion in their ranks. It would be a waste to keep one of our few Sith here any longer. General Stanul Thal is coordinating our efforts near House Ald. Speak to him if you'd like to take a further role in this conquest. You have saved my house's dream of ruling our world, and taught me much about what that will mean. I will not forget. We'll see if he remembers. And there we are, level 60. Achievement unlocked. Level level 60 Sith Warrior. Hmm, Imperial Mastermind as well. Okay. Level 60, Consuming Power. Increases the critical chance of smash and crushing blow by 20%. Additionally, a GS Assault deals an additional 30% damage and increases shield absorption by 3%. Nice. Level 62 for our next utility slot, which will get us into the legendary utility air section. Uh, what is our absorption? Only 23%. That's not amazing. Hmm. The thing is, the best thing that gives shield chance and absorption in your equipment is the enhancements here. And there isn't a shield rating and absorption enhancement that I've seen yet anyway. It's either shield rating and defense or defense and absorption. Not the two that you would typically need. Defense isn't so amazing. 
Uh, where is it? Yeah, melee and ranged defences, but it doesn't protect you against force and tech attacks, which is basically half of the classes, the sage and maybe even the like the trooper, for instance. So it's not ideal. Whereas at least the shield has a chance of absorbing any blow. No Jedi will be able to stand against you. Remember, peace is a lie. Indeed. Okay. So, there's a couple of side missions we could pick up. But, we might not do any side missions here. In Kamos territory. We might do them on our way into the Duran Mountains here. Which is where we need to aid Imperial um, influence. But before we do any of that, we'll probably um, pop ahead and speak to Dukendo and see why he hasn't been aiding us in finding information on Jason Wilson and her discovery here. But that's for all for next time. Let's enjoy a bit of Alderaan here in the background. And as I say, this has been Anthel playing Star Wars The Old Republic. I hope you've all enjoyed and I hope you all take care. And I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, bye-bye now.